Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in the comments below. And today we're gonna to be looking at an awesome base 10 block strategy called trading and adding. Let's review what the base 10 blocks represent and then I'll show you the strategy before we begin the worksheet. Remember, one cube represents just one and one long represents 10 individual cubes. Meaning that if I had 10 individual cubes spaced out like this, I could trade them for one long. Both 10 individual cubes and one long represent the number 10. The trading and adding strategy is also really cool. For example, if I wanted to add one long and three cubes, plus one long and seven cubes, I could first combine all my cubes or ones. I know that three plus seven equals 10. I could trade these cubes for one 10. Then I have one, two longs or tens on this side, plus one long or 10 on this side, giving me a total of two plus one equals three, three longs. Let's use this trading and adding strategy to help us complete the worksheet. I'll read the directions and then get started right away. Trade ones for tens and solve the addition problems. Check the correct answers. In our first problem, I have two tens and four ones, plus one ten and eight ones. My goal is to use the cubes and trade ten cubes for one ten. So I'm going to take the four cubes on the left side and add them to six of the cubes on the right side. I know that four plus six equals 10. So I'm gonna cross out or trade these 10 cubes for one long. Put my one long right here. Then I just have two ones and then I can count my tens. One, two, three, four tens. Giving me a total of four tens and two ones. The trading and adding strategy makes adding a lot easier. Let's try it again on the next example. In the next problem, I'm going to add three tens and five ones, plus two tens and five ones. First, I wanna add my ones and see if I can make a 10. So I have five ones plus five ones. I know that five plus five equals 10. So I could cross out or trade these 10 cubes for one long. I'll put my one long right here. Now I can just count the longs or the tens and see how many tens there are in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six tens and we're left with zero ones, making the correct answer six tens and zero ones. Our last example has us adding one, two, three, four tens and seven ones plus one, two, three tens and seven ones. Let's see if we can combine these ones or these cubes to make a 10. So first on my right side, I'm gonna count four ones. I'm gonna add these four ones to six cubes or six ones on the other side of my equation. I know that four plus six equals 10. So I could trade these cubes or cross them out and make them a 10. I'll add my 10 right here this time. I still have some leftover cubes that I have to count for. So let's count the total tens and ones to see how many tens and ones there are in total. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens, and one, two, three, four ones. Making my final answer eight tens and four ones. Remember boys and girls, if you're adding base 10 blocks and you see that you have more than 10 ones or exactly 10 cubes, you can combine these cubes and trade them for one long. 
because one long just represents 10 individual cubes. Thanks for watching this trading and adding strategy. We'll see you next time. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.